Nice, repetitive indie combat experience. The game is a vampire survivors, bullet time, bullet tell survivor game, you know all that. Uh, but it's extremely unique in two cases. First of all, it's most likely the most broken uh, game possible. That's what I'm seeing, at least from what I've said, uh, from, from what I've seen. And also, um, it does some unique things. First of all, it's making fun of the genre itself. And secondly, it has a very, very unique meta progression system where the moment you're gonna see it, you're gonna understand how broken this can become. So I'm gonna do today two runs, maybe three, but most likely two runs. First, we're gonna do a run without any meta progression whatsoever. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like with meta progression and you're gonna understand the difference. So we're gonna start with the most basic of basics uh I, I, let's go with normal default run with the starting weapon with normal with no ascension with anything and uh we're gonna actually start the run here and i'm gonna explain the difference that this game does first of all we are a world destroyer okay we are this guy here the samurai and uh we start with a sword which we throw out tip you can breathe in space you can't breathe in space good tip good tip very useful what do you do in this game well first of all uh you destroy enemies for xp and you destroy planets for power for weapons uh this is a level up so in this game by the way you can find three tiers of level ups you can find the trash ones the game literally calls them trash it's this uh, red uh, dark red brown whatever you want to call them then you got these ones which are i guess silver normal ones which are these bluish silver ones and then there are like good ones and uh, i guess perfect ones and then super legendary or whatever uh the super legend i think it's gold and then it's gem anyway let's see what we got attack speed lose crit chance no get max life get knocked back slow enemies or the Less damage taken all of these are very mediocre like very mediocre um so i guess we we'll go with slow enemies i'm not really sure let's go with slow enemies let's go attack slow enemies not a really good one but whatever there are combo pieces with that uh we just got poisoned it's okay we're gonna survive here as i said this run right now is without meta progression and uh yeah we're very very weak i'm just you know showcasing how the game goes in the beginning and uh, here, for example, we've got some trash choices. Uh, you can always skip or redraw. If you skip, then you get le less uh, cards. As you see, I got five cards right now, right? So if I skip, I'm not going to get any of these fives. But in the next level, I'm going to have access to six, and then to seven, and then to eight, and then to nine. If you redraw, uh, then the opposite happens. You decrease your size, but you ch get another chance to pick. I'm going to go with gravity here, pickup range. So we have at least some basic pickup range, as you know previously we started with. Literally, <laughs> uh, you have to be next to the opponent to pick it up as i said we're gonna be most likely extremely weak now let's go with plus one damage right now i have one damage and i have 50 50 chance to either do plus one or not plus one here at the, the top right you see our stats luck damage is like damage but it just rolls let's go with plus one flat damage so we do double damage right now or 50 percent more damage i guess we got poisoned it's okay we also will need some healing later get some levels uh honestly i don't enjoy any of these max life who cares projected hp is decent crit damage is also decent all of these are decent ish but let's skip them so i get more choices later because the more choices you get the higher chance you're gonna find rares and legendaries and whatnot uh, honestly none of these i could also go damage but i'm gonna continue skipping as i said the main plan is to get what is this what is this first time i'm seeing this first time i'm seeing a planet like I, I don't know what this is. It's I guess it's a money planet. Does that mean that there's money here? Most likely that's what it means. And we got better upgrades. Zero to four luck damage. Uh, dev bias, a card that's obviously too strong, but the dev ignores and buffs it. Uh, this this wording here changes after you pick up the card like five times up. Then it actually says what it normally does. So it's not like, oh, you're never going to learn what it does. This does, um, more. I think, four damage on four life opponents. We're going to go with to zero. Uh, we're going to go on zero to four. Uh, break this, please. I think this here means that there is a bounty on the planet. Break. Okay, it does not mean that there's a bounty on the planet. And we got a sword, a dagger, a gun, and meta progression currency. The idea in this game is you just go with the same weapon again and again because for every three they combine. Uh, this is how you upgrade weapons. It's a very unique system because that makes the run be specific. It's not going to be like, oh, you pick up every single weapon in the game all the time as if it's the Rogue Genesia. Maybe very, very ultra late game when you have a bunch of metagression, maybe then yes. But as you see tip here, three of the same weapons render something stronger. I'm going to say let's go with the sword. Although I really, really love the dagger, but I'm going to do a dagger run second on my busted run. So let's do a sword run right now. And uh, yeah, now we have two swords. You want to go as fast as possible into these lone planets to break them as fast as you can. Nothing important here. I'm going to say skip. Useless. An upgrade that use, uh, that's useless until you get a specific other card. I know what this does. Uh, the rest, I mean, crit chance, knockback, HP regen. HP regen is also good to have, but uh, we're going to skip here because we might find a rare HP regen anyway. Because rares 
I guess silver cards give you double the stats of the, the trash cards. And then, first of all, none of these is what I want. So, should I... Uh, most of the time you go for two weapons. You know, let's go with the wand. Let's go with the wand so we have, like, two weapons. So, this run is going to be sword wand build, pretty much. The wand just shoots out these two little projectiles. So that's what it does. I have never leveled up the wand. I've never actually did a build with run, so a wand. So, I don't know what it gets when it maxes out or when it levels up. Uh, we didn't find any of the choices we want. So, now I have one more inventory slot. It's not visible right now, but there is one slot with the, as a... I guess as a placeholder. So I don't care about any of these. Let's get meta progression. And we got our first 100 coins right here. We're going to continue pushing. Now, in general, you obviously want, need to be extreme. You need to be lucky in this game to be able to pierce through. 10% crit chance. That's nice. A bunch of life. Blocks one hit uh, every minute while block is up. Collect double coins over time. On blocks hits, remove all bonus currency, and then 20 less damage taken. I'm gonna go with 10% crit chance, I would say. We're gonna go full on damage, as always. 20 less damage taken is also good. If there was HP regen, maybe I would have took it. But, uh, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's pierce through. Come on, give me the planet. Come on. And let's hope it's gonna be either a sword or a wand. Better is, it would be better if it's a sword, by the way. We found another 4 upgrade. So, first of all, 20 HP every 10. This is 2 health per second. The slow is better. Uh, when I crit, I heal, but we lose HP regen or the projectiles last long. Let's go with a bit of healing. Let's go with a bit of healing. It's just so that we have something that heals us. And we got another sword. So that's now going to combine the swords. And what do we get from the combination? We get excellent. Times 2 knockback. And also does 200% damage. Instead of 100 that it was doing in the beginning. And it's now a sword plus 1. Let's go piercing. I don't know what integrity is, by the way. And uh, I'm, I'm seeing just a bunch of points. You know what? We definitely want to upgrade piercing. And we also definitely want to uh, get as many plants as possible because now we lost the weapon. Knockback. Attack speed, lose crit chance. Projectile speed. That's good. Barrier. Uh, get a bar Generate a barrier that's 10% of my current HP over time. Or luck damage. Damage or projectile. Let's go with damage. I think damage is the play in general. Um, I mean, normally it's projectile speed is also important. You need to be able to take your shots and make them go far. Okay, uh, we got some issues here with enemies, and we got plus 2 damage, I think that's what we're gonna do. Less damage taken, added to projectiles, now let's, let's go with just plus 2 flat. And now we're doing like 20s and 30s. Let's uh, continue running away. By the way, the, the game is like 3 bucks, and uh, oh man, oh man, I'm telling you, the second run, you're gonna, your, your brain's gonna explode, I mean, no. Let's go with pickup range. I already have enough. Uh, what are these mages doing? They're combining with each other. Well, let's destroy what we can. Let's not allow these guys to combine. Now, on the map, there is somewhere a golden stone. As you see, there are stones on the map. So there is somewhere a golden stone. Let's go pick up range. And that golden stone is uh, a free legendary. So here it is. I already broke it somehow. I never saw. And these are the legendaries we got. I can either get rice. This here uh, is a reference to one rice per square thing on the board. I don't know if you know the story. Like, um, somebody requested one rice to double each time on the chessboard. You know, it doesn't matter. Every time you take this upgrade, it increases. So, first one's one, second is two, next one is four, then it's eight, then 16, then 32. Like, it goes crazy, obviously. Uh, th if you get this upgrade like 10 times, it's the best upgrade in the game. Uh, luck damage, 0 to 16, decent. 800 max life, also decent. One more weapon, this is very good. Four bounces, good. Uh, crazy HP regen, 400% crit damage, also very, very insane, and then heal 1 HP. Uh, I think I want to go with a weapon slot, to be honest. Weapon slots are hard to come by, so let's go with this. Uh, it's obviously, it's completely useless right now. I, I just took something that's completely useless. Uh, but it's, I guess it's going, I, it, it's, I'm trying to, you know, future save the run, so to speak. Crit damage, pickup range. Let's continue with the pickup range. <laughs> Uh, this is, quote-unquote, the first run, right? It's not my actual first run. I did play before, but I have the meta progression disabled right now. If you take lethal, you would survive. Honestly, I'm gonna roll these. Because reroll maintains the rarity. So now, for example, I can get bouncing. I would say let's go bouncing, yes. Why not? Although piercing is better than bouncing, but whatever. What are these guys doing? What are these guys doing? Are you guys casting a spell? Are you the spell caster? Okay, spell caster's toast. Uh, we're fighting too many opponents for a build that does not have too much piercing. And uh, I really, really would like to be able to break a planet here. Now, uh, gameplay-wise... Oh, we found two legendaries. 0 to 60 luck damage. I think we're gonna take this. Not the projectile size. Who cares about the projectile size? But saved, you said... Yeah, I said that. I don't have AoE. I don't said... I didn't say I don't have enough projectile size. Come on, attack, man. Okay, let's go. 
I need piercing. I need piercing first and foremost. Like, that's the most important thing to get right now. Piercing. Uh, obviously, something else that could be very helpful would be... Go pick up range. It would be... Uh, we're dying. <laughs> Another useful thing would be targeting by hand, which I can do by options. I think it's in gameplay. Uh, XP orb. Time before I'm paused. By the way, this can become like a bit less. Let's go with... Maybe controls, controls. Auto level, auto aim. Let's go with auto aim off. So I guess we now aim wherever I want. And that means I can now actually try to get into a planet. If I'm lucky enough. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's most likely not gonna happen. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. I mean, the planets also have life, just to be clear. So, uh, whoa. And we're dead. It's okay. It's okay. This was just the gameplay in the beginning. And now I got 103D9 meta progression. Obviously, we got the plan there, but whatever. So, now you're gonna see the busted part of the game. Okay, good, good. I love the game trash talking. Now you're gonna see how the game breaks and how fast it breaks. First of all, I've, I've played about two hours now. So whatever you're gonna see here is two hours of grinding. And this is the meta progression tree. So how does this go? We got stickers. In case you... The, the system exists in a bunch of other games, right? For example, the simple stickers are simple. Like, right? It's like this is two slots. This is one slot. As you see, it's not really that clear over here. But uh, whatever does not have a number inside of it is unlocked. I have bought all these with the meta progression. And these costs are weirdly numbered. They are not uh, random. Like, this is 970. This is 6,000. This is 11,000. Down here, this is 197. 7,580. Like, there is a lot of depth on how much meta progression you can put in here. And there are also the bigger shapes like this one, where, as you see, it's a whole cross that you have to fit somewhere, etc, etc. So this is the first half of the meta progression, right? This is the simple version, uh, the simple path of it, right? Just, just stickers, you put them in. But not only is it that, but the stickers have also mechanics. For example, this one says that gain plus one damage for each bronze medal. Here are the bronze medals, as you see, trash bronze medal, decent silver medal, gold, uh, good gold medal, and then great, ge uh, great gem medal which these great gems cost like uh, 100k per pop and this is like 10,000 per pop this is a thousand per pop and this is like a hundred per pop and this also scales by the way I have bought a bunch of meta I have a bunch of gravity so what do you do you do a puzzle over here so for example this says if all three slots cover the same metal kill that metal and get crit based on the quality and if it's in the gold line upgrade metal quality this says strength gain plus one damage for each bronze metal you have around it and these are on slots as you see there are on slots here on the shape and then in the gold line it upgrades itself so what is the gold line it's this thing it's this line down here so what that means is if this thing is put in the golden line which right now i'm putting it boom it actually counts for plus three and then what does that mean we gain that level before we even play right you remember that inside the game i was getting magnetism this thing gravity so if i now put it like here 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 wherever i put it i start the run with these i start the run with uh, three times plus 50% pickup range. Like, it literally is free levels. And not only free levels, but legendary free levels, right? So this here, for example, is 10% crit chance. The base version is 5% crit chance. The the silver is 10% crit chance. And the legendary, the gold one, is 50% crit chance. So if I take this and flip it around, as you see, we can flip it, and put it here, boom, it's a legendary. And now I will start the game with 50% crit chance and eight damage, right? And now we're going to slot everything in. So let's surround this thing with bronze medals. Let's put all the plus one damage I've bought. I have pre-bought these when I, you know, started the game. We got those. Uh, plus one projectile HP. Let's also take this. This is how long the projectile flies in the air. Plus zero to two luck damage. Let's also slot these in. Uh, death bias, this is you do more damage on full life opponents, 10 HP per 10 seconds, this is 1 HP per second pretty much, so we have a bit of region, right, we want a bit of region, and then we also got initialized description, I took this for the meme, and I bought it for the meme, so be it, and I can buy this for the meme too, an upgrade that can be balanced and changes every patch, I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna, oh, mistakes were made, because I didn't even see the shape of it, so this is useless for us right now, it's gonna just exist, I could obviously put it here, Right, and throw... You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna throw this out and this out, and we're gonna put this here. Boom. I know what this is. This is exactly 5% crit chance and 25% attack to projectile speed. I don't know what this is, just to be sure. Uh, but this is your yeah, projectile speed and crit chance, which is good. And I would say damage is better than... Uh, do we have a few useless here? You know what? I, I think it's damage is better than projectile HP. So let's throw the projectile HP out. Let's put the damage in. Actually, that's a lie. I already have a bunch of damage. Might as well have the projectile HP. Projectile HP is that they fly farther out. And with the move, with the speed, it's even better, you know. And I could buy even more things. But right now, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. And now, we're going to do a run with what we have unlocked. First of all, there are character classes, right? And weapons. You can start with different weapons. Every weapon you have found in the game, you can buy. 
Obviously, the rarer weapons are like more expensive, but I think the dagger is the best weapon in the game. So we're gonna start with the dagger, and then uh, for skins, uh, as you see here up, we have skins which are classes pretty much. There are a bunch of classes. This one is you don't find the armor card anymore, and healing, uh, and the running buffs are doubled. Relief. This is an easy class, and the rest always have upside and downsides. Double damage when I don't move. Moving, you do half damage. We're gonna go with anger. I think anger is by far the most busted character. So gain two medals per card picked. So every time I pick up a card, every time I get level, I. I get that level twice is what that does but we lose max hp and die the end die part doesn't actually happen we lose max hp every minute we lose 10 percent max hp every minute okay that's what this guy does there are also ascension levels in case you're like but if isn't the game gonna become so broken that it won't even make sense to play anymore nope there are ascension levels so that is also covered i'm not gonna play on the ascension just because i want to showcase how busted you know what ascension one and you can also choose the ascension by the way this is awesome you can be like i want to be the opponent super fast I want to make the opponent super fast as a Sension 3. Or you can say, I want to make the opponent spa spawn extremely fast. So that's also Sension 3, right? But if you want to get the meta currency multiplier, you need to have like both of these active. Anyway, um,. Yeah, let, let, let's actually just not play with ascensions. Maybe, yeah, let's not. Let's play with one ascension, one whatever. I want to just showcase right now because this game is awesome, and I really want to play this as much as possible. So if you guys enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. This is by far the worst stage, by the way. I completely hate it, but it's okay. I don't even want to be targeting anymore. Let's allow the game to target on its own, and um, yeah, let's continue. Look at this. We already have this whole pickup range. You see the whole pickup range we got starting right away? Okay, we got our dagger. We're gonna do a dagger build first and foremost. And whatever the second weapon is, we're gonna see. But daggers go first. Why daggers? Because daggers have the following double crit chance, right? And that's really, really important. Because how crit chance works in this game... Uh, secondary weapon, eye shard, snakes, or glue. Honestly, I hate all three of these. Let's go with meta progression. Um, how the crit chance works in this game is there is multi-crit. As you see over here, crit chance 50, 10. Yeah, this means 50% chance to crit and then another 10% chance to double crit. So, insane right away. We start with insane. We got another dagger. Nice. Instantly got the triple dagger. What does the triple dagger gain? Excellent. At excellent, it gets 75% cooldown. So, it's 0.3 cooldown on attack. And normally, the dagger is 0.4. So, there's the difference there. Let's level up. Now a dagger. Didn't. We got a gun. 400% damage. Cool on 3 seconds. Ignore my projectiles. And plus 2 piercing. We're gonna get a gun. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, we are a swashbuckler now. We are, uh, you know, dagger and gun. That's that's the build. Anything else is useless. I would say we can take a bow. But honestly, I don't think it's even worth it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna take a bow. This is the build. This is what we're gonna chase down. I haven't gotten a single level because I started at level 8. And here is our first level. Four blues. Whatever I take here is gonna get doubled. Just to be clear, my life, as you see, I have 800% life right now. The, 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 the time is ticking right now. I, I can't even pause. So this uh, every minute, I get one of these debuffs, 10% or less max HP. So getting max HP or shielding is useless. Uh, from these choices, I don't enjoy any, to be honest. So I'm going to just straight up lay skip, say skip. I don't care. Even though there were rares there, I still don't care. Let's get another gun. So now we got the legendary dagger and two guns. Oh, very nice. Obviously, I would like to get another gun right now. And uh, we found another dagger, and now I will definitely not open up in our planet because I want to get more weapon slots. Without more weapon slots, there is no reason to do this. We're gonna definitely take this skill check. So blocks one hit every minute. Uh, while the block is up, collect money. I'm gonna take this, and now we got this twice. You see this where this at times two next to it? We got this buff twice on the spot. So that means not only do I get that, but also shield cooldown is decreased. Uh, I don't care about any of these, so we're gonna definitely roll these. I actually skip them, not even roll. And as you see, we're doing triple crits already. There are some multiple exclamation marks appearing. I don't care about any of these either. Let's skip again. Skipping early is very important to have more choices in general inside the run itself. I would like to get some pickup range, obviously. There is a pickup range here. We're going to take that. That's going to be double pickup range. That's the times two, as I said. So if I get one more pickup range, we're going to max it out. What do I mean max it out? You're going to see in a moment. Because pickup range does get maxed out. And there is a legendary over there in the corner. Plus two knockback, useless. Damage taken, useless. All of these are useless. I'm gonna skip again, although I should maybe reroll, but I'm gonna skip. Let's go here. This open. No, no, I don't. I'm not, I don't want that. Let's go and now pick up the legendary, and let's hope we're gonna find rerolls as our legendary. I told you there is a legendary thing. Okay, so the choices are two more weapon slots, 800% crit damage, uh, three rerolls, and two rerolls. Two rerolls for free. A bunch of damage. You know, I think the best is the weapon slot. So let's get the weapon slot, and now let's go and pick up all the things, all the plans already broken. Uh, I don't care about any of these. Crit damage, I see it, but no, let's skip. So we get more choices. The choices are important. It's very important to get choices. 
None of these, to be honest. So we're gonna get meta progression currency. I'm gonna stick to my specific two weapons. If I get even more weapon slots, then I'm gonna start, you know, rotating over to other weapons. But right now, I don't need to. Okay, once again, none of these. Let's go for money again. Let's try to open up this planet. This is a higher health planet, which means that it's gonna give us more choices. Most of the time, that's what that means. Okay, it, it, it gave us four choices this time. But once again, none of these. You know what? Let's go with bow. Mm, yeah, I can take a bow. I can take a bow. And we got a level here. Honestly, I don't think anything... 50% uh, criteria. You know what? No, no. Let's go with skips. Skips, skips, skips. We can find better things. Let's stay away from everything that's possible. We got another dagger. Very nice. And another pistol. I'm gonna get the dagger. I am a dagger built first and foremost. Let's switch these around. And here is the inventory slot. So right now, if I find anything that's not a dagger or a pistol, it's gonna make me throw away the bow. Uh, I don't care about any of these still. So let's skip again. Continue smacking everything we find. Oh, we just almost got exploded. There are exploding death opponents. Massive 40% projectile size or this. Now we're gonna reroll here. Uh, the reroll maintains the rarity, as I said. Plus crazy damage, but lose accuracy. I'm gonna say yes. So now my shots are gonna go wherever they decide to go. I don't care about it. Let's see what we find. Pistol is here, so we're gonna obviously take it. It's gonna combine with the rest. What does the pistol do on level up? The pistol on level up, knockback converted to pierce. So this no longer gets knockback. If I have any knockback, it, it just gets a bunch of piercing, which is obviously better. Damage or projectile lifetime, we're gonna go with plus four damage. So we start doing hundreds of damage, as you see, and I have 400 max HP. Damage or weapon slot, weapon slot always. Damage is easily fixable. Weapon slots, they don't really often come by. Let's go and pick up those planets too. So we start getting some weapons. No matter what they are, we're gonna pick them up. Crowbar, uh, the dev bias, I guess. Let's take the dev bias. It does more damage if the opponent is at full life. So that's just straight up one shot potential. Arrow. Now we're into an arrow build too. What did the arrow gain? Nothing. It does just does 400% damage. That's the only thing it does. Level up. A dagger again. So we got two dagger level twos now. Trying to go for the dagger level three, obviously. I would say we level up the shield again. If you would take lethal damage, instead sacrifice this metal, get set to 10% HP and cleanse most debuffs. So we're gonna take this. So now I have two revives. It's not actually a revive, just to be clear. I'm gonna get another pistol. Let's avoid those hits. Maybe I have 400 max HP. As I said, every for every minute we lose 10% max HP. And this barrier does nothing, by the way. And the max health also does nothing. Barrier is based on my current HP. Let's go plus 8 damage on whoever is full life, right? Uh, I will get double re rerolls later. Uh, minus 20 damage is useless. Let's go piercing. Piercing is good. 400 damage plus. Uh, by the way, the map loops in case I didn't mention that. Just so you know. Uh, these are useless. Do I want, do I need accuracy? My accuracy is 33. You know, let's, let's get twice accuracy, I guess. Although, once again, accuracy doesn't really, really matter. So maybe it's a useless level. But whatever, we've got triple legendary here. Crazy damage and lose all the accuracy at this point. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Crazy damage, but lose every single aspect of accuracy <laughs> that we possibly can have. Let's continue attacking. If we survive this turn, we're gonna be good. I don't enjoy any of these, to be honest. Let's, let's skip them. I would like to get one more magnetism, by the way. That's really important. Uh, the shield cooldown thing. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Let's continue decreasing the shield cooldown, as that's pretty much our one way. Pickup range. Boom. And legendary event horizon. Pook, pull in all pickups. So now we got global pickup range. How awesome is that? The game literally gives you global pickup range. Let's go with 50% accuracy. Uh, luck damage. Oh, crit damage. 100% crit damage. Let's go. So right now I had 100% crit damage. Now I have 300% crit damage. And that can multi-clear crit. And we just cleared the sun. There was a sun here in the middle of the map. I don't know if you saw it, but we cleared it. It's dead. And now we can choose what to go with as our super legendary. Projectile split at the end is the play, in my opinion. Projectiles homing on enemies also may be good, but I think projectile split at the end is the play that breaks the game on the spot. Uh, res. We got to res. This is also really good, but I'm going to go with this. Let's go with split projectiles at the end. And 20% uh, crit chance because, was, as I said, everything we find is always doubled. Everything. Everything we find is always doubled. Uh, so we're gonna split the projectiles twice is what I mean to say with that. Let's get a weapon out of this and our dagger. Very nice. Are there any other planets alive that I should have picked up? I don't think so. So let's go into the next stage. So now, stage complete, I can go double or nothing. So I'm gonna obviously go double or nothing. YOLO it. If now we lose, we're not gonna get meta progression. Normally, if you lose, you pick, you keep all the meta progression. Now, if I lose, I'm not gonna keep the meta progression. And now the planets move around. Like, things are different. But now we have splits on splits, 
So, uh, yeah, now we obviously have a lot more coverage. We got another dagger. Let's continue with that idea. I want to get my super legendary dagger at nine daggers. Okay, the choices are crit damage, I would say. I don't really need to skip anymore. We, we already have so many choices, literally not skipping anymore. Let's continue with the daggers. By the way, my max HP now is one. So if I touch anything or if anything touches me, I'm dead. Let's go projectile speed. So my projectiles fly out farther. That's important. I also would like to get bouncing if I can do so. We've got another gun. And we got the legendary uh, uh, dagger, weft dagger. So this thing gets 50% cooldown, 0.2 attack speed now. Uh, and we got the best one for this character. So this thing, Rice, does one damage, but it goes multiplicatively, as I said. I think I already mentioned that. So we're going to take this. It's instantly going to be at two. Here, if I, if I go over to the Rice, where, where did it appear? Here, it's already four damage. Actually, the next one's going to be four damage. Right now, it's two damage. The next one is going to read four damage when I, before I pick it up. And I'm going to say crit damage. Let's continue. A thousand damage on the crit there. Uh, luck damage, not crit damage. 100%. Let's go. Now we're increasing our damage exponentially and extremely fast. Also, please remember that uh, actually crits don't work on planets. Weapon slot, we take that. We take the weapon slots. Sift be like, weapon slots are hard to come by. Plus four damage. Baseline. Uh, if I touch... Oh, 400% crit damage? Let's go 400% crit damage, which actually is 800% crit damage. And now my crit damage is 1,500%. And I can multi-crit. You need to remember, I can multi-crit. Let's go with plus two flat, which is plus four flat. Uh, four bounces. Here it is. Let's go four bounces, which is actually eight bounces. This is how what we go with. And now the weapons are going to be bouncing. Bouncing w works with the walls, by the way. Projectile size. I'm going to take this once or twice, but this is extremely dangerous to take because I'm not going to be able to see anything. Uh, I don't care about any of these, to be honest. So we continue with this. Do you see these little specs? FPS saver. Half attack speed. Enemies take double damage from projectiles. Heal 1 HP per life taking useless. Attack speed but lose your crit chance. This is good. We lose our attack speed but opponents take double damage. You know what? Let's actually just reroll and get our legendaries. Here we go. Free rerolls. And when I pick it up, I also get the choice to pick on the spot again. 50% crit chance. Obviously godlike because it's 100% crit chance. But let's take free rerolls. So we have two rerolls for the rest of the game for free. Uh, I'm going to say we go with accuracy, I guess. I'm still not sure what accuracy exactly is. Let's go with additive projectile speed. 100% projectile speed, pretty much. And the game is going to go off hand. As you see, already the game is like, level up, level up, level up, level up. Let's get the shield. You know what? Let's actually make it so that I don't have to go through the levels again and again. I guess it's in gameplay, right? Omae wa shinderu. No funny anime slash. Omae wa shinderu. I know what that is. It's uh, in the game something. Uh, auto level off. Level up with Q. Okay, got it. Let's go. So now I'm not going to be like... Whoa, what was that? We got a huge amount of aggression. That guy just got hit with 9,000. 25k million damage, whatever. Let's level up five times. Rerolls into rerolls into rerolls. Meta aggression into twice. Uh, these are all useless. I have four rerolls for free without losing cards. Four more damage. If you would uh, take lethal damage, you actually survive. Uh, these are actually all useless, but I guess I need to... Uh, I, I skip. Skip again. Okay, because when I skip, I get more choices on the legendary choices. Accuracy, guess. Even more skill check. Even more meta progression gathering. Even more um, faster shield recovery. Although the shield recovery is most likely not going to save us, just to be clear. Because if I touch these uh, things on the ground, these specs, you instantly die when you touch them. Because I have one life and nothing is going to protect me because they're going to attack us so fast and so quick that it just kills us on the spot. So there's that, I guess. Let's continue picking up the planets. I didn't showcase it, but if you touch the void, you lose life. It's not a lot of life, but one life is enough to kill me. And uh, if I revive exactly on, on top of it, I die again. Let's get another pistol. And I think we got a legendary pistol. What does the legendary pistol do? It does a uh, knockback to convert pierce. Octa shot. So now we have an octa shot. Okay, so we got an octa shot and also we got piercing upon piercing upon piercing upon piercing. So there's that, I guess. Let's get a level. A bunch of levels, actually. Uh, I guess knockback. Actually, free rule. What am I thinking about? Yeah, crit damage. Uh, let's go projectile size one more time. Uh, revive. Revive again. Ah, oh, there was crit damage. Crit damage again. Oh, here we got legendaries. When opponents are full life, you destroy them. I would say re-roll them. As I said, re-rolling maintains the rarities you find. Slowed enemies take damage. No. Four piercing. Crit chance. Let's go with a 50 crit chance. Look at this. Now I have 50, 50, 50, and 30% chance to crit chance. You understand how busted this is? Because it's a multi, 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 multi crit. Like it's da 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 You see the numbers just going like da 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 It starts with, uh, yeah, 10,000, 10,000, 17,000. It's like, it just multiplies the damage a lot of times. Uh, I want to go dagger. I'm a dagger build first and foremost. 
Let's level up again. Two legendaries. Projectile size. I don't want this. <laughs> I don't want the million projectile size. Please luck damage. And I'm random shooting. Yes. Uh, projectile speed. Yes. Uh, crit chance. Yes. And uh, I, I really am afraid to touch anything and die. Let's go with even more daggers. I want to get a super duper legendary. I don't. I have never seen, and I also don't know if super duper legendary is even a thing. Right? Because you need to get like 18 times the same, uh, 20, 27 times the same weapon to be able to get that super duper legendary. Right? Because it's like nine for this one. It's three for the first, and then nine for the next, and then for the next one is 27. So you need to find the same weapon like a million times. Obviously, you can push your luck 50,000 times back to back, and then you're gonna get it. Let's level up. We're just leveling so much. Both of these are useless. Uh, but, uh, I guess luck damage, whatever. Um, you know what? Let's get more choices. More piercing, why not? More bouncing, why not? Uh, more damage, why not? More damage again. Mm, luck damage, I guess. I, the three rerolls, I get them back on every level. I don't know why I'm rerolling these. Let's just skip them. FPS saver? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Bouncing? No, let's go with luck. Uh, I guess crit chance. Crit chance is godlike. 8 damage, which is actually 16. With them, uh, revive if I die. I haven't lost a single one of those 10 revives if I die, by the way. It's not a revive. It just clears you from debuffs. It's it's literally going to protect me from poison or something. It's not going to save us. Uh, I tell that out of experience that it's not going to save us. Okay, I already got a dagger. We're going to continue with the daggers, man. Daggers is the play. Daggers is the play. Let's go here. Now a dagger. Very nice. Look at the huge number. 170,000 or whatever. I'm three minutes alive, uh, and the planet just got destroyed. We cleared out everything. Let's start picking up all the little stars. Uh, at the very bottom, normally you're supposed to see how many kills you got, and it's every time you kill a planet, you get like a billion kills. <laughs> the game is very much funny. Let's go with pistol again. Pistol got combined. Pistol again. Finally, silence. <laughs> Let's go dagger again. Nice. And uh, is there a planet on the map? I don't think so. Finally sounds, thank you. Till next time. Let's go. Let's continue. Double or nothing. Double or nothing we go. If I lose it, I lose it, okay? We're, I'm having fun. We, we just got 3,000. And this next stage, hopefully, is not going to be the... Oh, this is the first time I'm going into this. I don't know what this stage does. I don't know if we're going to giant lose from burning or whatever. Let's get shield cooldown decreased even more. Uh, shield cooldown decreased even, even, even more. Uh, heal on meta progression or projectile size. Once again, projectile size is very dangerous. You're saying, wait a minute, did the did the planet not give me a super upgrade? Yeah, for some reason the planet, here we go, rice, got it twice. So now the rice does how much damage? Now it does a 16. If I get one or two more rice, it's it's like super over. Um, get even more choices. The shield becomes even more shieldy. Get even more choices. Oh, no, I hate it. Okay, we roll on purpose, so I can see the cards. Okay, now the cards are going to be less. Let's go with bouncing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna throw a level away again, because I enjoy this. <laughs> Project that lifetime. Bounce. You know what? I would, I would like to go for rice. Crit damage, 800%. Let's take this. 3,000% crit damage. And I do 50, 50, 50, 50 ch chance. And the dagger has double crit chance, which means the daggers are guaranteed multi-crit 5. Oops, I I skipped again. Wait a minute. I made a mistake. Uh, let's get revives. Revives again. Let's go with accuracy, which doesn't do anything. Black damage and lose the accuracy we just gained. If you're struggling, pray for better cards. <laughs> good tip, good tip. Q2 level, Q2 level. Not yet. Look at this. Da, 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 da. Oh, what are these explosions? Run. I need movement speed. There is a movement speed passive, just to be clear. Uh, it exists. Uh, I'm not sure if the lava here makes us lose life. Because, man, the plants aren't even dying. If the lava makes you lose life, we got issues. Let's go with the damage of the rice, which now has become obviously godlike. Now the rice is 64 damage. Plus to flat. 50% crit chance for the multiplicative. Super, super duper shielding cooldown. Super duper 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 shielding cooldown. Projectiles are faster. Crit chance even more. Even more revives. Honey and not. Nope, we roll them. I would say still no. I would say still no. Crit chance. And now two legendaries. Let's go. 800% crit chance, damage. Slime and crit chance is obviously through the roof. The game is starting to lag from the numbers alone. Okay, so if this red makes us lose life, we die right here. It didn't. Okay, the game is obviously super lagging. Let's go with another dagger. Running away. Let's level up. Super duper duper revive. Crazy accuracy, I don't care. Crit chance through the roof. My crit chance is 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. 50. <laughs> 
this is how fast you break this game. This is literally... I, 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 I tell you, you can play this game right now. It's out for a couple of bucks. And... Um, yeah, it's gonna take you like less than uh, less than five hours to get to the point I am right now, because I told you it took me three. So, <laughs> whoa! I think the game just lagged. It was like a sound effect. Uh oh, that thing is dangerous. You see all that void around it? It's super dangerous. I if I touch any void pip, I'm dead. Okay, planets toast. A million numbers are appearing around us. I still don't want to go in there until this void is gone. Okay, the void is gone. Let's see what this is gonna give us. Come on, give me another dagger. I have two super daggers now. And our gun it is. Uh, I think in a bit we need to get to the FPS saver, most likely. Can I go in there? I'm not sure if I can touch that, man. I'm really not sure if I can touch that. Shield. Yep. We're piercing. You know, now we're gonna go for rice. No. Rice. No, movement speed. Thank you. That's even better than rice. Uh, I guess the barrier. Might as well get the barrier to have it. Maybe, maybe it somehow is going to save us. Somehow. Maybe I'm going to have two life. And two life means double the life I normally have. There was a crit damage trace there. Continue with the accuracy meme. Uh, I have four times... Okay, I have four times this if you take lethal damage. So, uh, like, theoretically we should definitely survive. Just taking whatever at this point. Look how fast we're gaining meta progression. You can see I'm going in there. Okay, I didn't lose anything. Look at this number. <laughs> A million damage. Let's go. And this isn't even anything, right? If you remember when we had the choices to level up, when we had, when I was in Meta Progression City, I had only like, what? Six or seven uh, brown ones, like trash ones. Maybe ten trash ones, okay? Like ten trash ones and like two, two silver ones. And that's it. This is the power of ten trash and two silver. Just imagine how busted the game normally is going to be. I'm waiting for that thing to dissipate. The void's gonna kill us, man. I'm telling you, void's, void's death sentence. Ooh, here we go. Continue with the daggers. Very nice. I'm super lucky with the daggers today. Level up. And now revive. Oh, I'm down to 18. I, I lost some. I lost some. I Somewhere somewhere I lost some. <laughs> Let's continue. At the projectile speed. I'm pretty sure the bitrate is literally melting right now. Whatever you're seeing is most likely madness. Madness. This is sparta by the way if you love the game don't forget to drop a like or subscribe to the channel or and subscribe to the channel i really enjoy it and i want to play more so if the algorithm picks this up i'm definitely gonna play more because i want to see how crazy this can become because this is still nothing right this is literally still nothing okay we're gonna go with our pistol gun whatever combine that too okay i'm seeing the explosions and i'm running away from them i lost a life i'm at 17 right now i lost a life as you see here, we have 17 of these. Uh, you know what? Redraw. Okay, shield again. I have 6,000 meta progression just waiting to be actually gathered. Synchro damage. Projectile says definitely no. Continue with the shielding meme. Roll these. Luck damage. Oh, here we go. 16 to the barrier, which is actually 32. Obviously, we're not going to take that. We're going for rice. Oh, wait, don't synchro damage. We take that. Uh, XP or there? No. Mm, nope. Oh, we got triple legendary, actually. Nope. And movement speed, we take those. And now revive, another revive. Damage, whatever. Another revive, another revive. Barrier, and let's continue. I'm at 25 lives. Okay, we're gonna continue with dagger. I have three minutes. Supposedly with the buff down there, I have three minutes, right? Otherwise, I will die. I've not seen that, by the way, happen ever. We just got a crazy, crazy, crazy HP regen, uh, XP gain. I think the sun is up here. Nope, that's a planet, not a sun. Level up, now revive. Uh, two legendaries, let's roll them. We roll them. Give me rice or rerolls. Rice or rerolls. Ah, rice or rerolls. Uh, let's go with red damage. I mean, movement speed isn't that important. Roll them. Roll them. Roll them. Roll them. Didn't find rice. And both of these are trash, actually. Let's roll them again, then. Get the barrier. Uh, shielding. Throw them away. And go. Look how many enemies. I got 27 shields. Trying to go close there. Get the shield. Man, the game is lagging like crazy. The game is lagging like crazy. Another planet. Da -da -da -da. Okay, now if I find FPS saver, I'm gonna get it. Okay, now if we find FPS save, we're gonna straight up get it. And there's that. Oh! 
This is the first time I'm seeing this ever. Barrier gains 3d2 of current HP. Nice. Do I get this twice? Is my question. Where is this? I got it once. Okay. Obviously, now I have a super barrier that has one life. As you see, we my whole life is blue now. Let's continue with the pistoles. Continue with the guns. I don't know where the sun is. Oh, we just got actually hit. I got 27 lives right now. Okay, I still got 27 lives. By the way, I have the shield that I, I guess has infinite cooldown or something. I just lost the shield, and I just lost all the metal progression. And I got the shield back again. And I'm down to 22 lives, 27 lives. Oh man. Oh man! Oh man! G name of the game is Panic. I have 14 lives left. We need to find rice right now. Y here we go, 64 twice. Which in reality isn't even 64 at this point. It's 100 something. 250 something. Let's get the rerolls. Uh, I guess knock back. 4% crit damage. Actually, we're going for another rice. If I can touch the rice right now. Come on, find me rice, find me rice. Oh, crit chance. No. Ah, let's go FPS saver. So we shoot out less projectiles. Here we go again. Rice, 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 rice. Or rerolls. FPS saver again. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it to get it this twice right now. A bit too early for this. One last. Here we go. We got the rerolls. I guess that's damage taken. Maybe I, I like I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, let's go crit damage. Even more. Come on, rice. Give me 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 rice. Shield the bear. Crit damage. No. FPS saver. No. Rice. I have more rerolls. And uh, slow points down. I guess. More barrier gums faster back. And now we're doing a million damage. Da -da 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 oh man, and opponents are actually surviving, man. Jokes aside, opponents are actually surviving. So there is no double or nothing after this. What is this? Oh, that's a planet. If a planet appears exactly on top of me, we die. Oh, we're getting Omai oh the Rude. I'm getting multiple assassinations. I'm getting assassinated. I'm getting assassinated right now. The opponents are trying to slash us again and again. Where's my lives? Nine lives left. Run! Nine lives left. Run! Oh, we got a planet. I, I need to really, really avoid the void on the ground. Uh, I don't have enough projectiles, man. I think FPS saviors actually killed us. I have two lives left. And I died. I just lost all my lives because I touched the void. Yep, I touched the void. If you touch the void, you lose on the spot. And we got 17,000 meta progression. So we're gonna go back to main menu. I got 200. Did you see like the kills? Go back three seconds and look at the kills. It was 270 billion or something because of every planet is a billion kills. I love it. And now we're like super rich. Exactly this. You saw the run I did? This is exactly the run you do. You do one of these runs and it's it's over. Like you instantly get like 10,000 plus and then you open up five or six slots. Like I have all of these. Like I, I used to be like this, okay? The, my map used to look something like this this i would say uh i think it was like this when i started i had like here this and i had this and i had this like i i just bought random upgrades man Th this is what it looked like when when i got the god one that just broke the game completely this, this is what it looked like something like this okay and now and now look at where we're at like now we completely have broken the game and like we, we like, it's 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 insane man it's insane the game is just lovely. I, I love it. I don't think we're going to play more, at least not right now. I will uh, definitely play more tomorrow again. Like, I want to play this at least two or three more times. Regardless of uh, uh, if, if you guys watch it or not. And then if I see that you guys actually don't watch it, then I guess I'm going to stop playing it. Otherwise, I will continue because, oh man, oh man. I don't know, man. The, the, the game, the game, I really enjoy it. And uh, I find it awesome. 11,000 for a golden one. Or 6,000 for a golden one. That's why 6,000 gold one here. And uh, put this in because memes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, put, uh, I guess, damage in. I don't even know. I'm going to find something else. Uh, like 950, 950, 830, uh, 970. And then and then you just buy whatever you want. I guess I would like to start with the good magnet right away. I don't want to invest into magnetism without actually needing to. Throw this in, throw this in. We have two more slots. This doesn't really fit because it needs a sideways. Not that it's a good one. We can find better runes, obviously, right? Another damage room that I could start with, but I need to have enough room here to do the cross crisscross in. Like I need to open this and this, and then buy that damage room to start with even more damage. Or maybe I could start with crit damage. What's crit damage? 100% crit damage, 50% crit damage for each other crit damage card in the slot. Uh, and this is like the up and down side, so I could put it in this triplet here. So I could do something like 100% crit damage, right? So I can, for example, buy this. Yeah, and then put them here, like buy this, and then be like, these three go out, you go in, boom, right? And then you go here, and uh, you go here. 
and we can buy more slots to put more things in man the game is awesome i i like i i know i said it like five times now by the way you can oh i did not want to open that up might as well open up now i can flip this like this and then if i actually have a crit chance for example here this is crit damage for 100 which uh, is a double slaughter so um where could i put that i guess i could put it here and like there are so many choices as to how to min max this oh i can open this up right yeah i open this up look at this look at this i open that up and i open up the crit damage buy right and now i throw these all out and uh this here says for example right now how much crit damage do i have right now i have this 100 crit damage that's how much it is 100 if i put this here it's still 100 right no difference still 100 uh, excuse me i'm blind here this 100 but if i also take this now put it here now it is 50% twice and 100%, right? Because this here, this card here says 50% damage, which is this card here, which is the 50% damage card. So we just get combos upon combos upon combos and it's awesome, man. It's it's awesome. The design is like straight up through the roof. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm super excited about how busted we can get and how broken everything can become. What is this? Like damage? Throw this away. What is this? Yeah, it's the, it's the exclamation mark thing. So we go here. Ah, that's why it's empty. This does nothing, by the way. Initial description. I, I I have no idea what this is. Let's put in the crowbar. Let's put one last magnetism. There is no more room. I don't have any more money. And uh, I guess we are not going to use these. But now, for example, in my next run, I'm going to instantly start with 300% uh, crit damage and 50% crit chance and also all this damage here and also that and also this. And it's, 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 it's crazy, man. It's crazy and I love it. And the game is awesome. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. And uh, yeah, I hope I didn't tire you. There is this glitch when I try to uh, press anything anywhere outside of the screen. It's like, duh, 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 duh. okay, and everything's good, but I'm having fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Game's awesome. And uh, yeah, I will play at least once or twice more. Okay, I'm going to do like at least two more videos. And uh, then I really hope you guys enjoy this because this gonna we're going to break this through the heavens. And we like we did just one run and we already got so much more powerful. So imagine how much more busted we're going to become after 10 videos or something anyway that's going to be it for today hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around